So, what word comes to mind when you think of that? Don't you go nuts about this? You can read this. This is paraphernalia. Paraphernalia. Yeah. What comes to mind? A lot of you may be thinking equipment, apparatus. That's a very 21st century approach. So, uh, believe it or not, guys, that is related to dowry. Yes. Now, as was customary in the old days, um, let me not sound like dowry is extinct. Sadly, it's not. We're sort of getting there. But in the times when it was much more rampant as a practice, when a, when a woman get, would get married, she would carry with her to her in-laws place or her new home um, a fair share of dowry, which was stuff that was gifts and wealth and whatever else that was supposed to be given over to the other family. Yeah? That would cause confusions of the kinds that we can't even imagine in the 21st century. So imagine you're carrying a truckload of gifts and everybody forgets that you also own some stuff. I mean, you have clothes, you have jewelry, you have whatever, books. Come on, let's not forget books. Girls read, man. Come on. So whatever was yours, you needed to hold on to it. And at the time when these gifts were being dispersed so generously, it was almost like trade, it's a disgusting practice. Um, so generously to the other family, a girl's morbid fear would be to not lose stuff that belonged to her. And therefore, a very clear demarcation was, was made. So all the boxes that came with her had labels. You can imagine whatever you can, there was no stationery at that point of time that can be, uh, yeah resembling us. So, um, there would be labels saying, this is the blue word here, fernal, which means dowry in Greek. So, this is the fernal part. All of this, take it and go. Yeah? Everything else, whatever you wanted the girl to keep for hers, for hers, was called paraphernalia. Para is the Greek root for the side. This is not dowry, this is besides the dowry. So the root of the day is para. Para comes from Greek. It means beside or adjacent to. So if you're a nurse, you're not a medical officer, you're a paramedical officer. These days, um, abbreviated in um, American colloquialism as a paramedic. If you're a munshi, you're not really a lawyer, you're a paralegal officer. So you're the, you're the clerk that does the paperwork. Um, if you're two lines next to each other, you are... You get it right. So parallel comes from para plus the Greek part allo. Allo means other. Allo takes you to allopathy as opposed to homeopathy. So homeo means similar. When you treat something with a similar thing, it's homeopathy. When you treat something with another thing, that's allopathy. Another thing to what? To the thing that caused the problem. So when two lines are parallel, they are para plus allo, which means beside each other. Rule of the day is para. Gives you hundreds of fascinating words. You should try etymology. And very quickly, very quickly. Did you know that Lofil has a YouTube channel? Lofil has a YouTube channel. You'll be shameless for not subscribing.